guys, I've been getting a lot of questions um, about which mags I prefer when I'm using my uh, TPX. Uh, my question is if, not my, the questions for me are, uh, do I like the Zeta mags more or do I like the 12 ball Tipman mags more? Um, so I'll get to the answer at the end of the video. Uh, so I'm going to do a comparison video for you guys uh, versus each other kind of and um, the pros and cons of each mag. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions for these, uh, so finally these videos do, but uh, mainly I got asked by Neon Melon uh, to do this video, so this video is for you, buddy. Um, hopefully this helps you out. If you have any more questions, just put it in the uh, comments below. First, I'm going to start off with the most basic things that everyone should know. Um, uh, the Zeta Mag comes with one Zeta Mag, and it comes with a uh, uh, loading rod. And it comes with boot covers, but I don't use the boot covers, I just throw them out actually. Even if uh, you guys see me on the field uh, and you want to come up and ask me if you have Zeta Mags, uh, if you want to ask me for my boot covers, I will give you to give you my boot covers if you see me on the field. Because I don't use them, so you can just take them off me if you see me on the field. How about that? Uh, it comes with one Zeta Mag and one rod. Uh, now it depends on what Zeta Mag you get. Uh, there's the Gen 1 which are like these. Uh, this is the receiver, what it looks like. Uh, and this is the Gen 2, this is the receiver, what it looks like. Uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, it kind of pushes the ball up more. It's more detented. Uh, so just, it, it's less ball breaks and it kind of pushes the ball up more into the, the block. So it's easier. Uh, it's not as many ball breaks. So, uh, it comes with this, and this is $28 for one mag and the rod. Uh, now when you go with the Tipman 12 ball mags, um, these are $41, uh, and you get two of them. So that equals up to about $20 per mag. So it's a little bit less cheaper than the Zeta mags. Okay, so starting off with uh, Zeta mags, um, the plastic is not as strong as the Tipman 12 ball mags. It's definitely these are definitely as strong as the True Feed 7 mags. I would even I wouldn't even doubt saying that they're even stronger than them. Um, so you won't have a problem with dropping these or like drop reloading them or throw reloading them, whatever you want to do. Um, these after a while will break after a while. I mean like a long while, but they eventually will break. Um, they do have some problems with the springs a little bit. Uh, some people get the tens of them jamming. Um, it's pretty easy to fix that. All you need is to get a D mag, uh, rip out the spring of that, and put it in place of this, and it works perfectly fine, and you won't have any problems with the springs again. Um, but the, the Zeta mags are not as strong as the Tipman 12 ball mags. Uh, so I'll give you an example here. Hopefully you guys can see it. This is one of my Gen 1 ones. Uh, so keep in mind. I play in Paintball City a lot, uh, and if you don't play there, they have rocks on the ground. Uh, that's their floor, it's kind of like rocks. So um, when I reload, I drop reload. I don't put it back in my vest, I drop reload or I have to throw it, it doesn't matter. I just quick reload, I drop it on the floor. Uh, so this is after, I probably had these about a year and a half, almost two years probably. Uh, so after that, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if I get a flashlight for you guys. Alright, uh, let's see it's cracking, kind of, right there, right in here, where it's supposed to be cracking. Not supposed to be cracking, but uh, where it's not supposed to be cracked. Um, so here it is to the Gen 2, what it looks like, what it's supposed to look like, that's what it looks like. Um, so after a while, they will chip or chip away, but it doesn't mean this can't be used. This works perfectly fine. Uh, so don't worry about that. I still use these all the time. Um, um, so yeah, these uh, these hold 20 rounds. Uh, it's a Z Z axis, I think they call it um, mag. So you got 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side. And now when you load it into the gun. You're loaded in, and it, you can't fire it right away because you have to release the spring. Uh, so what you have to do is, when you reload it, you release the switch 
right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you have to flick it down like that. Um, so after done that, then you can fire and you flip it over, put it back in, and you gotta flip. Uh, you gotta uh, switch off the next switch. So that's one of the downfalls I don't like. Uh, you have to flick off the spring kind of for the spring tension. Uh, but after a while, you kind of, it's just a, a second nature, you just do it right away. Uh, so I don't even notice doing it now. Um, but for the people that first time users, uh, don't be discouraged by that, because it will just become a habit and you'll do it automatically. Um, so that's it about the Zeta mags. Um, yeah, they hold 20 balls compared to the 12 balls in the uh, Tipman 12 ball mags. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's just mine, people haven't got to back to me on that, but uh, mine do actually hold 13 balls, and they do shoot 13 balls. Um, so I'm not sure if that's just a defect in mine, or Tipman going to count properly, I don't know. Um, but the one thing I don't like about the Tipman 12 mag mags are, uh, first of all, the Magpul. I don't like Magpuls. Um, they're annoying. For me. Um, so I cut mine off. So that's why it looks a little bit different, if you see that. Uh, I just cut mine right off. I don't like that it doesn't have anything to allow me to push down the spring. Uh, like the Xenomags, they come with the rod. Uh, I know this can be a pain in the butt, but it's not that hard. You simply just go like this, and it's good to go. Then you load it up. You know it's ready to load, uh, because you hear the click and everything. Uh, but the 12 ball mags, you don't hear any click, you can't do anything. I can, I can't shove my finger all the way in there and compress the spring. Um, so, uh, you're gonna have to just force the, put the paintballs in, and once you get to the 12 ball, you're gonna have to push in the paintballs a little bit, and you feel the click. I'm not a fan of that, because I don't, I, I don't know... If there's cheap paint I have in there or not, I don't know. Um, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I can just see it happening to some people. Uh, when you go in to press the 12 ball, they're probably gonna, one's gonna break, and then it may a break in your uh, mag, and that'll be a pain in the butt, because you won't be able to use it for the day, because you're gonna have to clean it. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So when you're loading this, put 12 balls in, click it. If you have enough room, like mine do, I just put a 13th one on top, and it fits perfectly fine. Uh, maintaining these, um, I have not ripped apart a Zeta Mag, and don't ask me to because I'm not going to. Uh, these things are a pain in the butt to rip apart. I just know that for a fact. What I do if there's a ball break in here, I just simply run it underneath hot water, and I just let it air dry, and it's perfectly good to go. These you can rip apart very easily. There's only seven internal parts uh, in this entire mag. Uh, so it's very simple that Tipman made these. Uh, you can rip it apart, clean it, put it back together, no problem. I'm not sure about running underneath hot water. Um, I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I'll try it next time. Uh, but yeah, I haven't tried it with hot water. I wouldn't suggest it because I haven't tried it yet. Um, another thing is uh, the detents. This is a big thing. Um, the detents on the Zeta mags are a lot bigger and stronger than the Tipman 12 ball mags. So you can see the Tipman 12 ball mag right here. Uh, it doesn't cover um, a paintball. Well, hold on. Uh, let me go get a paintball and I'll be right back. Okay. So when you have balls loaded into the mags, uh, you can see that the 12 ball mag puts the paintball in more, a little bit more, uh, less underneath the ridge of the mag. Um, but if the ball detent isn't as big, and I get, sometimes the, the top one does fall out, um, just because the, the detents aren't as big. Now with the Zeta mags, you can see that it pops out from the top a little bit, not too much, I hope you guys can see that. Um, and the detent also pops out and it holds the paintball in there like that and that actually you see it covering it quite a bit more than the Tipman. Um, so these I have never had a paintball fall out of these. Um, so lucky me I guess or uh, you guys let me know if you guys had that problem. I've never had one fall out of these that's why I like the detents on these. 
Uh, so, I guess in conclusion, um, I'm more of a fan of the Zeta mags just because uh, you get 20 balls per uh, compared to 12. Uh, and it's pretty easy to count, you're just 10 and 10, or you can just hear the air when you're not firing. But um, yeah, for $28 for one uh, compared to $20 for one uh, of these, I'd much rather pay. Eight dollars more to have eight more shots every single time I have this mag. Uh, so that's just my opinion. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any more questions, just leave in the comments below, uh, and just let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the Zeta mags or the Titman 12 ball mags, and also if you have any more uh, suggestions for videos that you want me to uh, review of my own gear that I have, uh, or you can ask me if I have the gear, and I'll let you know. And if you want me to review. Or anything like this, uh, I'll do it for you guys because I uh, want to help you guys out. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, hopefully see you on the field. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask. And I hope to see you on the field.